are your glance, your everlasting light. Let your eyes raise a sharp, cut through the crowd. Hey you guys, welcome back to another Messier whole house clean with me. We have a ton of cleaning motivation in this video. I am tackling everything from the everyday mom mess, cleaning up my kitchen, massive amounts of laundry, tackling my daughter's playroom, and John is working on the basement again. He's back at it. He decided to paint the walls in our movie room and also paint the floors down there to really brighten it up. I also just had a huge everyday regular everyday mom mess to clean up and was tackling everything in the mad dash in between dropping off my daughter at school so grab your cup of coffee i hope this gets you motivated and let's do it Hey you guys, welcome back for some more cleaning motivation. How are you all doing? I hope really well. I know it is just, it's just a merry-go-round, right? We're on the hamster wheel and round and round we go as moms. It never stops. And this is basically like a three-day clean with me. I started on Sunday just starting out cleaning up the everyday mess because my house is just the messiest after a long weekend with kids all around. And I'm always guilty of going to the store and getting my daughter new toys. And there's always new ones to be picked up off of this table. So I was just taking care of getting all of that plus the arts and crafts put away so that I could start wiping down my dining room table and my sink. One of the other things I really wanted to do on this day was get to deep cleaning my um, microwave and my oven. My oven was just really gross honestly from the holidays and with everything I had going on with my basement flooding and things I just have not tackled it at all. I've just been neglecting the deep cleaning which is why I'm trying to do at least one spot um, in every room of the house to try to get it caught up because you know how much extra work it is to deep clean but I was honestly having just a super long week. It has been one of those weeks where it's been one thing after after another with Maddie's school and just different play dates but also just a lot of extra things within you know uh, uh, John's work and we have just been you know going 100 miles an hour in fact John and I were joking that hopefully things should calm down in the next week or two um, before the mad rush of summer comes along and well you know spring and summer where we start the yard and we were joking like we need to just do a date night or something we haven't had one in so long that I was like all right we just need to prioritize that we just need some good fun you know and sometimes you just have to stop everything else. The house can wait sometimes and I just want to be able to maybe take Maddie somewhere fun even if it's just shopping or to like a little movie and I just want you know I want to spend some time with my man. I don't know if anyone else feels me but it's like life just gets in the way. It gets so hectic and I am in just the busiest season of life. I keep saying that, but it just doesn't stop. And I'm trying to get all of these things done a lot, which is why I always really try to deep clean my kitchen on a Sunday, just because I'm meal prepping and things. It's the easiest for me to at least have the kitchen done and out of the way, because I know the rest of the house is going to be a mess. And that we were also planning on um, doing some things, more things in the basement, which you'll see in a little bit. But I knew that that would be time consuming. So even though I didn't want to do it on this day, I just sucked it up and started cleaning kind of mid-afternoon on a Sunday to get that done so that I could start focusing on some of the fun renovation parts and um, I also really needed to tackle my carpets. They were just disgusting so 
just taking one day at a time and getting what I can done. I was using the um, Scrub Daddy Power Paste still on my stove, but I really wanted to test it out on my microwave and my oven as well. And I'm a really honest reviewer of things because I have said all of its good praises on my stovetop. It works incredible. I will say it, it didn't get absolutely everything off in my microwave. I did need to add some of the Dawn Power Wash to get some of those really stuck on stains that have been neglected for a while. And it did also work pretty good um, on the oven, but I do have a method um, degreaser that really took care of those burnt on stains from the holidays. So that's just an honest review of something. Um, it still works really well. And if it probably hadn't been sitting for as long as it had, I mean, I honestly probably didn't deep clean my microwave for about two weeks and my oven, honestly, for over a month. That's just how busy we've been with dealing with the disaster of um, the flood from the blizzard in my basement. So if you were just using it, you know, more regularly, I think it would have worked fine. But it definitely needed a, a little bit more of a degreaser to really get it clean. And I think that's something that I'm going to try to stay on top of in the future so that I don't have to scrub so hard. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it. As a random side note, how adorable is Molly over there with his little balloon? Him and Maddie actually will fight over this balloon. It's a happy birthday balloon. Yes, she's still pretending it's her birthday pretty much weekly at this point. It's quite impressive. But Molly was also just like, because it's lost a lot of the helium, like dragging it around with him in his mouth. And he was just laying on it on top of like <laughs> the little strings so that uh, it could be right next to him while I was cleaning things up. And it was just the cutest thing, honestly. Um, I've also, you know, I've been a little bit stressed out because Molly hasn't been feeling the best and has been having trouble walking. And I am debating taking him to the vet. I'm hoping it's just something that passes, but I know he's getting up there in age. So it always just makes me a little bit, you know, it's a little nerve wracking for me when he's not feeling well, but I, he does seem to be doing a bit better right now. And I think it was just that he hurt his, his leg a little bit and was limping. Um, but it hasn't been bothering him as much. I did get him some of some like joint medication to help him, which seems to have worked wonders, but I'm kind of just monitoring him and hoping that that pain doesn't come back 
because he's always like my first baby and I just, you know, when he's hurting, I'm hurting. <laughs> Honestly, it's so hard, especially with dogs because, you know, they can't talk and tell you what's wrong. So I've just been trying to take care of him while also, you know, doing all of the everyday mom things, dropping my daughter off to pre-K. And so I was just, you know, really busy this week with everything going on, getting his medicine, you know, it's just it's just always something. Um, but I was just finishing up this day by doing a load of laundry late at night. I was making my bed super late, but I was like, hey, better late than never. It's still nice to jump into clean sheets and a made bed, even if it's only two hours before you actually go to sleep. Um, and after um, I finish this up, the next day you'll see here, we moved into Johnny showing you what he was doing downstairs. He had this idea to paint the ceilings um, a matte black, which turned out absolutely amazing. He wanted to do that in this room because if you remember before the flood, before that happened, this room, and I'm sorry about my voice if you're hearing it a little bit. Yes, it's amazing. I'm actually sick again. Can you believe it? But I swear, my daughter just comes home from preschool and it's like, there's always, there's like a new kid sick every week. So this one's not so bad, but my voice is a little bit off. But um, John decided to paint um, these walls the black color. And we do that in the movie room because when you turn the lights off then, it really is like that full movie effect because there's no light coming in from anywhere. So he got a new um, spray paint gun and this thing worked amazing. I swear, I think he was done painting the entire ceiling um, within an hour, which you can imagine how long that would actually take with a paintbrush, okay? You'd just be you'd be there for days. So um, I actually was laughing. I told him, I'm like, honey, you're going to regret buying that because I'm going to have like 10,000 projects for you to paint with it now that you have it. He was kind of joking and sighing with me over it. But I think this turned out so nice. And he just loves always having a project. And I think he's loving putting his basement back together how he wants it. He also decided after this to paint the floors. And we decided to go with a light tan color because we just really wanted to brighten up the space and I just think it turned out amazing. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there but you hold tight knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things And I have to do with it But it's not easy So tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know How to carry on on your own Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. I'm honestly always amazed at how much he can get done. He just makes it look so effortless to me and I know it's not and I know how much work it is, but he's just natural at building things, painting. It's just, it's like it's built in his jeans or something. He also um, spray painted that little um, chest and dresser into a matte black and he just needs to finish up doing some of the trim work um, but it's amazing what he's gotten accomplished if you know what we've been through and we have been through a lot <laughs> um, and it's just a great start to brightening up the house with the colors that we want this is on the third day now that we're moving into i was in a mad dash to um, try to get my rugs cleaned up and my living room um, just organized and decluttered a bit and my daughter's playroom in the two hour time period that I had before picking her up from school. Um, I have, as you see, a um, sheet over my couch over there because I am still planning on getting new couches and I really deep cleaned um, that couch off camera and have 
we actually took the legs off of it just so that it would be easy for Molly um, to jump up since his leg was hurt. So I just put a sheet over it so he could go up there and, you know, I didn't care if it got muddy or anything like that. And I figured that way it would stay clean until I decided to move it to a different space when I get the new couches in. Um, I think I've decided that I'm going to take the gray couch from upstairs and just purchase the additional um, larger couch that goes with it and put it into the room because it will go with kind of the gray white theme that I'm going for um, with some of the wood and I'm really excited to get it done it'll probably be a, you know another week or two by the time I finally get everything together but I figured um, that way when I can I'm trying to deep clean the living room um, so that way it'll just be super easy just to move the couches in and I won't have to think about you know cleaning under the couches getting the rugs cleaned I can really just have fun decorating and not feel um, so rushed with that and I went into my daughter's um, playroom next just to clean up everything she was having a little picnic here with her friends as you can see um, with her little restaurant that she does but I needed to get these rugs done really bad as well we're in in that season where we're heading towards spring the snow is melting and the mud is just coming in everywhere on these rugs you will see when I pour out that water it is just it is absolutely filthy so I'm just first putting away all of the toys wiping everything down and then deep cleaning the carpets let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your hand I swear I was like cursing at myself like why did you do this before you have to run up pick up your daughter and do a second Valentine's Day party but you know what I was so glad once it was done and off my mind and that's just how I roll <laughs> I was just trying to clean out the machine the best I can you know if you've watched my channel you know I like to normally spray it outside with a hose but the weather's just not it's just not working with us quite yet with that so just really giving the sink a quick second deep clean of the day and running off to to pick up my daughter but I hope this gave you guys a ton of cleaning motivation I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you soon bye